Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Winged Horse Designs. I'm Donna Goodwin. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Brookings, South Dakota. Today, I'm going to do another version of a accordion fold card. I chose the giraffe paper on this. Um, before we switch cameras and get started, just want to let them, you know, last Monday, I did this window card. Oh, wrong direction. I did this window card, and during the live, this card went out to Linnell. And for those of you who came back and liked, commented, and shared on the replay, this card is going out to Betty. So, Betty, if you will get with me through some type of direct messaging system and let me know your mailing address, I'll get that card sent out to you. So I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is a better view of the card we're going to do today. So it is an accordion fold, so it folds all the way out. Typically, we would make every panel be exactly the same, but I thought it'd be fun to make them a little bit different and to stagger them. Good morning, Brett, Terry, and hello, Betty. Um, you get to watch me live. That's great. That's wonderful. Normally, you might put this on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch base and then put your writing piece on the back. I chose to make it an actual card and then do the accordion fold. Oops, excuse me, the accordion fold on the front. So we'll do that in a bit. But first, I have some show and tell. Sherry sent me this wonderful card where she sized it so that it will fit in a letter size envelope. So if you're familiar with those letter size envelopes that you can get at the store. Um, so it's a little bit smaller and she did these cute little gnomes. Fantastic coloring, Sherry. And then on the inside, it's just simply blank. So Sherry sent me that. And... Irene sent me this book binding fold card that she did isn't with this lovely paper that we had during celebration and some nice pretty orange ribbon that she picked up. And on the inside it says, just a card to say you're amazing. So that's a wonderful card as well. So thank you, ladies. Now, um, real quickly, I want to say hello to Terry and Betty and Irene and Susan and Harriet. Welcome. And if you're joining us during the replay after the words, welcome as well. So this is the card I did back on April 7th. And this is also an accordion fold. But what we did here is we attached a little mini card on it. And so when you open up the whole thing, you have the whole thing. So both of these are accordion folds, just slightly different from each other. So the basic accordion fold here is the same. I just used designer series paper on the one for today. So I'm going to set that up in the corner. I try to stick with one stamp set, but it was a little difficult this time. So I brought in three different stamp sets just to show you can mix and match any way you like. So I liked the decided I wanted to do something a little more masculine instead of feminine this time. And I chose to the man who does everything. But then I also love this circular one that says every day with you is another adventure. Therefore, I chose to use two different types of labels instead of matching them and stacking them one on top of the other. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Brenda. I wanted happy birthday. So I chose happy birthday from best family ever. And I needed some, you know, giraffes eat from the trees, right? So I needed some type of leaf. Now, this is not the right kind of leaf that they would be eating from those kinds of trees, but it was what I had available. So those are the stamp sets that we're using. I'm using the dies from all that, which goes with that he's the man stamp set. And we're just using these two dies here. And then for our card pieces, the measurements are in the description, so you won't need to write them down. Like I said, you could use a quarter sheet of cardstock. I chose to use an actual standard card base, so five and a half by eight and a half, scored it in the middle at four and a quarter. Give that a good crease with the bone folder and set it aside. 
I'm using very vanilla for my neutral color, four inches by five and a quarter inches for the inside. For this panel in the Z fold, another piece of very vanilla that's one and three quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. And then whatever scraps you need to do your die cuts. And I went ahead and die cut these out in advance. Then you need some designer series paper. I chose the giraffe pattern from the like an animal. And on one side it's matte and that's the side it's just used. And on the other side it's metallic. And it comes in giraffe and reptile and leopard and zebra. So it comes in some different pieces. So this one measures four and a, excuse me, five and one quarter inches. Good morning, Lori, by 12 inches. So I'm going to pull all this stuff aside and we're going to score this. And you can use your paper trimmer and you can pull out the handle and do it that way. I just find when I have these big pieces like this, sometimes it's easier to bring in the scoreboard. You're going to love these measurements as well. I'm going to score it four inches. And then so that it's easier to fold in the cord, I'm going to flip, score it six inches. You do not need to flip. So four, six, eight, and 10. Four, six, eight, 10. Easy, easy scoring. So I'm gonna start by doing a valley fold I can get it to fold. With this foil on the one side, sometimes it's a little bit hard to get it started. And I want to make sure it's straight. So I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do my accordion fold back and forth, back and forth. Giving a good crease with each side. This paper is a little bit stiffer than your traditional pattern paper because of the foil. And so just by doing Valley Mountain, Valley Mountain going across, I now have my accordion fold. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside and do the stamping. Bring in a piece of scrap here to work her scrap paper to work with. So for the inside, I just simply did some leaves from a tree coming down and happy birthday. And for my ink colors, I chose old olive for my branches or leaves. And I'm using a color that's returning. This is an ink color we had a while back called Misty Moonlight. And this is returning to our color line. So I'm going to start with the old olive. And this little leaf that I pulled from Sending Smiles stamp set. And if you're ever interested in what these products are, there's a link in the description called Supply List. And that, I didn't do a very good job of inking down there on the bottom. And that has all of this, it'll take you out to my store and show you all of the products that I used on this card. And then I'm going to stamp off because I want this one a little bit lighter. So if if you like the products you see and you don't have a demonstrator and you're located in the United States, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Then I'm going to come in with the sentiment happy birthday that I pulled from Best Family Ever. So there's our inside. Let's stamp this panel here. All I did was put in some leaves. And again, I'm going to stamp 
one a little bit darker than the other. We'll set that aside. We're done with the old olive. So if you enjoy these videos, I would love it if you would like, comment, and share. So I'm going to stamp to the man who does everything on this label that I cut out with the die cut, all that. And I'm just going to hold it here for a little bit. Don't forget to start asking your questions because we're almost done with the card and then we'll go into questions and answers. So there's that piece. And then I'm going to stamp my compass. What I love about the compass is it's round. So I don't have to worry about getting it straight. I just have to get it in the circle. That's all the stamping, so now we can start assembly. So I'm going to put my inside in. And I, like I said, I could have done a quarter sheet and just put this piece on the very back. But I chose to just go ahead and do a standard card and put the accordion fold on the front of a regular folding card. And we're going to go ahead and work on this piece before we actually put it on the center. So I'm going to start with this piece here and put it on the inside, very inside. And you don't even need to do this either, depending on the type of pieces that you're using. I'm going to turn it this way to make it easier for me. I'm going to put it in not right up to the fold, but kind of close. I want to make sure that this covers it up. So there's that piece. And then I'm going to put this piece in. Now I don't want to glue both sides, so I need to figure out where my north is, kind of. So right about there, and I'm going to flip it vertically so that I know I only want my glue on this side. Now I am gluing all these pieces down flat this time, but that's not necessary. You could use dimensionals if you like. And so I'll put that right about there. And then we'll fold this one over and we'll put this one in. And again, I'm going to flip vertically just so I know I only want adhesive on that one side. And I'm going to stagger these. I could put this one further in and have it be hidden behind this piece if I wanted to. I just thought it was kind of nice to have staggered for a change. And a lot of times you'd use a bigger piece here and have a big piece on front and a big piece here and then a piece back behind here. So you'd have like three hidden panels. And then we'll glue this to the front and add some embellishments and we'll be all done with this very easy accordion fold card. There are so many varieties of what you can do. Uh, with this being a glossy paper, I think we'll add a little extra. There are so many different options you could use with just this simple accordion fold card.
And then for embellishments, I thought since it's kind of a masculine card, it'd be fun to bring in rustic metallic adhesive back dots. I want to thank all of you who are staying here with me all the way to the end. And if you're watching on replay, thank you. So I'm just going to put a couple up here. And I actually put one in the center of my compass. Now that's three, and I normally stop at three. But I'm going to add in another one on the front. That puts me at four, and I don't like even numbers, so I'm going to add another one all the way into the inside again in here to give me five. And there you have a very simple accordion fold card using the draft print from the Like an Animal Designer series paper. So I'm going to switch cameras up here real quick. Again, if you like these, please do like, comment, and share. So let's take a look at the comments and do some questions and answers. Although, you know, I forgot some stuff as I was going along. You can find me if you're new to me on wingedhorsedesigns.com, at Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, all under wingedhorsedesigns.com. If you did like any of the products that I showed and you don't already have a demonstrator and you're in the United States, this is my April host code. And you can, if you're watching replay, you can just pause and capture that. And let's, for questions and answers, let's see what we have. So I have Terry here this morning from YouTube. And I have Betty here. She finally got to watch me live. Thank you, Betty. It's always fun to watch lives. And it's always great to go back on replays as well. I also have Terry here on Facebook. We have Irene here this morning, and Susan's here this morning. And Harriet says, how cute is that paper? She loves it. I do. I really like, I already used up all the zebra paper. Imagine that with hot pink, of course, for my ink color. Um, um, so <laughs> I'm amazing. Oh, I don't know about that. I try, though. And Brenda's here. And Mary's here. And Lori's here, and Paula says she thinks it's a clever card, always cute. Thank you. And Brenda loves multi-folds. So do I. I like folds that are doing, multi-folds and techniques are my all-time favorites. And since I've been doing multi-folds all through the month of April, I think you know what's coming up in May. Obviously, May's probably going to be techniques. Is the like an animal paper in the new book? No, Irene. It is going away, and it is in the mini catalog. Is it in the mini catalog or the annual catalog? Too many catalogs. I'm losing track. It is in the mini catalog on page 45. Uh, you missed the first comments. Did you use four inches instead of four and a quarter so that it fits in the envelope? I used four and a quarter inches for my card base. By So my card base when it's folded is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then on my paper, oh, did I say four and a, I measured it five and a quarter inches by 12 inches. So we went height versus width. And, but you would love for sure to get the compass off the center. Oh, okay. I'll think about that next time. Um, paper reminds you spots on draft. Yes, this is the draft pattern version. Like I said, there's reptile and there's um, leopard and zebras. You like that paper. It's nice to have masculine examples. Thank you, Susan. I missed Lori. I think she was trying to say great. Hit the send button a little too fast, maybe. 
and Terry, oops, well, it is animal paper. <laughs> it is animal paper. Um, and I'm not normally an animal print person. On cars, it's okay. You won't find animal prints probably in my clothing. No, when I stamp, I would get off center. Well, you can't get off center with this one because it's a circle. Normally I would stamp first and then cut. I just learned while doing lives to cut first to make it easier. And, you know, I set myself up for success. I have extras just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up the giveaway real quick. So I want to do this screen. And we'll draw from the 10 of you to see who's going to get the card during the live. Here it goes. Irene. So congratulations, Irene. Thank you for joining me live and like, commenting, and sharing. Now, I will give the second one away for those of you who, who join later during the replay. Please do like, comment, and share. Have a wonderful week. The sun is out. It's a gorgeous day. Time to get outside and do something fun. And I will see, I will upload on Friday. What am I uploading? A floating frame, I think. Something like that. Some kind of a floating card. And then... I will be back here. Your sorting thing is so cool. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Harry, but Harriet, but that's okay. Um, sorry, lost track of what I was saying. I will be back Monday, 10 a.m., same time. It'll be the 1st of May, so something totally new. And I think what we're going to do is techniques. And then I will finally start sharing some, since I finally got my pre-order in, I'm going to start sharing some of the new products in that. So have a wonderful week, everyone. I will post on Friday and see you on Monday. Happy trails.